Okay guys, I wanted to solve a very common problem that I see uh, with MVC uh, applications, which is you see the red error message on the screen, the value quote is invalid, and obviously that's not a very detailed error message. Um, but I see this all the time, and um, if you're looking at this problem, we've got a subtotal and a discount percent. Both of those are required fields on the model. Um, but it's not giving the valid error message. And if you were to take a glance at this model, you could see that we've got the uh, error messages configured on these auto-implemented properties. And so, you you know, uh, the natural thing was, well, why aren't these error messages showing? And this is um, just kind of a, one of those weird nuanced problems that uh, has a weird solution. And, and so um, why it's not, for the subtotal displaying the correct error message is you actually have to make this data type, this decimal data type nullable. And oddly, oddly enough, that is the solution to the problem. By marking these auto implemented properties as nullable, um, you will see that I will actually get the error message as I configured. Now, anytime you change a type to be nullable, um, you're gonna notice you know, this discount amount is using subtotal a nullable type in its calculation. So it turns out that any variable that uh, depends on that nullable type also has to be nullable. So by changing that to nullable, coming down here, changing that to nullable, let's change that. I'm basically gonna change them all to nullable. Okay, and uh, of course in our controllers, you know, we have to, um, now uh, total is nullable, that's causing other error messages. Um, so how you go about fixing that is uh, you can add a, a question mark here in front of discount amount. Now, what this does is kind of like a uh, if else. If there's a discount amount, then convert it to a string. Otherwise, don't convert it to a string. So this kind of provides a little conditional um, statement on discount amount. And you could do the same thing with total. Okay, obviously our model state remains the same, um, but when we start changing types to be nullable types, that will generally cause some compiler errors that you'll have to fix. Now, if I kind of reboot this, Spin, 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 calculate. Now you see we're getting the proper uh, error messages. So that's just a, a quick nuance point that I want to uh, point out to solve that problem that is very common.